Hi everyone, today I received my new Creator Elite Special Core Scanner for Toyota and Lexus. It is an online diagnostic tool based on the Android platform with full OBD functionality that best meets the needs of the DIY passenger car market. If you are interested in this tool, click this link for a $30 discount coupon. This professional tool can scan and diagnose all available modules of your car and quickly identify the vehicle's faults. Besides, it can read and clear codes, view live data of multiple sensors in text and graphs, recalibrate and configure certain components after making repairs or replacements. It is very easy to use thanks to its touchscreen. In addition, it is also a universal OBD2 reader for all cars after 1996 that come with the OBD2 protocol. Something that I like a lot is that it doesn't require any batteries or a power adapter because it is directly powered by the car you plug it into. In addition, it comes with a USB cable so that you can use it to see all the collected data when you are not in the car. As soon as it receives power, either from the OBD2 cable or from the USB, it automatically turns on. So it has a very nice screen. You can go into the settings, adjust whatever you want and it has a very cool screen capture functionality. Now, if I want to go into diagnostic, you see I can do the auto detect of the vehicle I plug it into, and you can also do a manual search of your model. So, as an example, today I have to work on this car that has a lot of problem. So, well, let me put the contact on and then I'm going to plug cable let's see where is it supposed to go here and the trader automatically turns on let me see if we can see the screen better yeah. and here diagnostic and auto detect And we have to wait a little bit. Oops. Uh, you see today is May 4th. That's my birthday. May the 4th be with me. All right, oh, so I detected the car. So this is a Toyota, not EV, but hybrid. All right, okay. And there we are, this is from North America. others with touch sensor all right so it correctly detects the model okay now what is this if communication abnormally occurs please make sure yes okay and now it's scanning all the data that is available I guess we have to wait a little bit. Yep, no full code. All right. Okay, okay. it should show a lot of code though because I know this car has a lot of fun. Ah, there we are. Find full code. Uh, electronic motors. Okay, so this will help me a lot 
and figuring everything that is wrong with this car. So there we are, it has everything it needs and what you can do is that you can send it by email to the owner of the car, okay? So here I don't want to uh, put the email of the, the owner, he probably wants to remain private. So I'm uh, sending it to myself and let me make a test. So, um, hello, oops, hello, this is a test. Send. Alright, it has been sent. I can check later if I receive it in my email. And now here we have it displays all what is wrong. So as I said, there is there are a lot of faults in this car and also it shows clearly everything that is perfectly fine. Okay, hybrid control, all this thing works. So that's good to know. All right, so you can fix all these things. It gives you the code, and um, and once everything is fixed, you can clear the codes. Okay. Now let us see. Here we have this code, for example, U zero one hundred. And if we want to know more about it, we can go to. Where did I see that? So let me exit here. Here. Data. DTC library. And I said, I think, U0100. So let us look it up. Okay, so it reminds you what it is, so that if you have any other code, a code that you don't know where it comes from, somebody asks you, oh, what is this code that I have, and you don't remember by heart what they correspond to, just tap it in, in this library and it tells you what it is. Okay, so very convenient. Okay, and well... I cannot describe everything in this video but there's a lot of things you can do also here this is if you don't have if the car that you want to check is not a Toyota you can still get information about other types of cars okay but if you want this device to be uh, special for a certain brand of car then what you can do is to go to the mall And here you can find the brand that you want. Oh, here Citroën, that's a French car. And you can buy a software for this device so that it will be able to do all the possible things you can do with that specific car. Okay. So, well, this is it. I really like this device. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.